I don't see it. It's not saying it. Oh, there we go. Good morning, my friends, and happy Wednesday. Happy Wednesday. Today is not a share day. We have an interactive activity, but with, oh wait, with, you. Uh, with me. <laughs> and before we do that, we're going to have Miss Amanda sing some songs, do some good morning songs and movement. Then I will do calendar with you. And then Miss Vanessa can read a story. Then I have an interactive activity about size, putting size sequencing. So let's go ahead and get started. I'll spotlight Miss Amanda. All right. Hello, my friends. So we are going to start with our good morning songs, like usual. So let's warm up our hands. It's pretty chilly outside today, so let's warm them up extra. Let's make them extra warm. All right, ready? One, two, three. Good morning, good morning. How are you? How are you? Very well, I think you. Very well, I think you. How about you? How about you? <laughs> good job, my friends. Give me some sparkles. Sparkle, sparkle, sparkle. I'm receiving your sparkles. Nom, 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 nom. Thank you. All right, let's do it in Espanol. Ready? Uno, dos, tres. Buenos días, buenos días. ¿Cómo estás? ¿Cómo estás? Muy bien, gracias. Muy bien, gracias. Y usted, y usted. Good job, my friends. Give me a sign language clap. Yay! And our last one, we're gonna do it in Mandarin. Ooh, my nose is stuffy today. Ready? Yi, er, san. Zao shang hao, zao shang hao. Ni hao ma, ni hao ma. Wo han hao xie xie, wo han hao xie xie. Ni na, ni na. Good job, my friends. Give yourself a Cup and say good morning, me. Good morning, me. All right, we are going to get right up on our feet. My part of circle is going to go kind of fast today. And I know that we are talking about reptiles and amphibians. And yesterday, Miss Vanessa showed us that dinosaurs are reptiles too. Isn't that so cool? I mean, they're not here anymore, but when they were alive, they were reptiles. So we're going to do our dinosaur song, right? Claws out, and we're gonna say, dinosaur, dinosaur, turn around. Good job, my friends. Dinosaur, dinosaur, stomp the ground, stomp it really strong and hard. Dinosaur, dinosaur, show your claws, show me your sharp claws. Dinosaur, dinosaur, snap your jaws. <laughs> Good job, my friends. Dinosaur, dinosaur, turn around. Dinosaur, dinosaur, sit that down. Good job, my friends. We're actually going to get back on our feet. Now we're going to do it one more time, but we're going to do the silly fast version. Are you ready? Get your claws out. And on the count of three, tell me what kind of dinosaur you are. Ready? One, two, three. Ooh, we got lots of different dinosaurs in here. All right, ready? We're gonna do it really fast. Dinosaur, dinosaur, turn around. Dinosaur, dinosaur, jump the ground. Dinosaur, dinosaur, show your claws. Dinosaur, dinosaur, snap your jaws. Dinosaur, dinosaur, turn around. Dinosaur, dinosaur, sit back down. Ooh, that was really tricky, but you all did such a good job. So we are going to close with a hot chocolate breath. I noticed it's gloomy today, so I feel like I want the hot, a cup of hot chocolate. So ready? We're going to get our mug. Let's pour the hot chocolate in. Pour, pour, pour. Ooh, it's really hot. Let's put some marshmallows in too. It can be any color you want. All right, let's see. Can we drink it? No, we can't drink it. It's too hot. So we got to blow on it. Let's blow on it three times so we can cool it down. Ready? One, 
two, watch the marshmallows swirl around. And last one, take a really nice big breath. Three. <gasps> nice job, everybody. Now we can take a sip of our hot chocolate. Mmm, feel it in your belly. Give your belly a rub, because now your belly's all warm. Good job, my friends. All right, we are going to move on to Miss Tessa. I'm going to put her on spotlight. Mm -hmm. All right, my friends, it's time to get into calendar. And you know, we always start at the top. Ooh, my chair is going to happen one day. <laughs> my chair <laughs> fell. All right, we're going to start with the month, which we have this letter M here. Can you guys make the M sound? Mm, May. So our month is May. Then we go to our year. And I want you to say the year how you like to say it, because there's two ways. So can you tell me what, how you like to say it? Mm, I've seen a lot of 2020. That's the easy way to say it. But there's also 2020. Good job. Then we go to our season. Oh, I see my friend saying it. It starts with an S. Spring. Spring. All right. And then now we're going to count our days, starting with one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Can you guys tell me what this number is? Thirteen. Today is the thirteenth, and there is two numbers in thirteen, starting with this one. What do we have here? Can you tell me? The number one. And show me one finger. And then right here we have the number three. Correct. Three fingers. We're going to put place it back in the calendar where it belongs. We're going to slide up. Here's our day of the week. And to figure that out, we have a special song. Are you ready to sing? Can I get thumbs up? Let's warm those hands up. Days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. There's Sunday and there's Monday, there's Tuesday and there's Wednesday, there's Thursday and there's Friday, and then there's Saturday, days of the week. Days of the week, days of the week. Days of the week, days of the week. Thank you for singing with me, my friends. So there's always three cards up here. We start on our left side and we start at the top here with this word in red that starts with a Y, which makes what sound? Yeah. Yesterday. So this card is telling us what yesterday was. And yesterday's day of the week started with the letter T. So let's make a T sound. T -t -t Tuesday. Yesterday was Tuesday. So let's make our sign language sign for Tuesday. And here's a little hint. You make a T. So we make our T. Thumb goes between those fingers. Face it to you. Blue. And circle. Good job. Then we go to our second card. And this word in red tells us the day, which is for today. I forgot, I mixed up there. <laughs> the T, today. And then today, 
is this word that starts with a W. What sound is that? What? Wednesday. Wednesday. And our sign for Wednesday, we make our W. W, turn it, and circle. Wednesday. And last but not least, we have our third card. We have the word up here in red. It starts with the letter T. We've been doing a T a lot today. What is the T sound again? T, T, tomorrow. And this is what tomorrow will be. Another T. <laughs> Thursday. Thursday. And this beginning initial sound in Thursday is which is from the T and the H, which is for our sign too. So do you guys remember the T and the H? T and H, but we're gonna do it towards us. T and H, Thursday. Thursday. Good job, my friends. And now we're going to recap all of our calendar for today. I'll say it, you'll listen. Let me see those listening ears. I like that. So I'll say it. Ready? Today is Wednesday, May 13th, 2020. Okay, now I want you guys to say it with me. Today is Wednesday, May 13th, 2020. Good job, my friends, and happy Wednesday. We're gonna have Miss Vanessa read a story. Okay, so this book, it's called The Yucky Reptile Alphabet Book. So it's gonna go, we're gonna go through all the letters and then we're gonna learn a new reptile for every letter. And let's see, the author does what? What does the author do? They write the words, and this author is Jerry Pelota. The, the letters are all swiggly. I almost got confused. And the illustrator does what? What does the illustrator do? They draw the pictures, and this illustrator is Ralph Maz Mazelo. So let's, let's learn some new reptiles. A is for armadillo lizard. When attacked or frightened, the armadillo lizard pretends it is a pine cone. It sticks its tail in its mouth and rolls itself into a ball. B is for boa. This is an emerald tree boa. Boas swallow their meals whole because they cannot chew. The largest boas are called anacondas and can be almost as long as a school bus. What goes after B if we're going by the alphabet? A, B, C. So C is for chameleon. Chameleons can change color and make their skin match their surroundings. What is most amazing is Chameleon's incredibly long tongue. Look how long his tongue is. It's long and it's sticky so that it could catch its food. His tongue is so long he went to the next page. D is for Diamondback Terrapin. Terrapins are turtles. The Diamondback Terrapin has markings on its back that reminds some of us of diamonds. Can you see? The little markings on his back. E is for eggs. These are crocodile eggs. Birds are not the only creatures that hatch from eggs. Most, but not all, reptiles are born this way. They're born through eggs. F is for frilled lizard. 
This Australian lizard puffs up its collar and hisses when it wants to scare someone away. It can also run very fast on its back legs. So it can run with two legs instead of four. G is for Gila monster. The Gila monster lives in the desert. It often has a fat tail. The Gila monster stores food in its tail for times when it cannot find enough to eat or drink. See, see, his tail is kind of chunky. They can hold their food in their tail. Kind of silly. H is for horned toad. This reptile is not a toad. Since it is round and has such a short tail, people forget that it is a horned lizard. When horned lizards get mad, they squirt blood out of their eyes. Ooh, it's kind of strange. Is it kind of hard to see this lizard? Just a little bit. I think that's the way that they protect themselves too. They get to blend in with the ground so predators can't find them. I is for iguana. These spooky looking reptiles are sometimes movie stars. When movie makers take pictures of iguanas up close, the iguana looks just like gigantic dinosaurs. When it's close enough. But it's an iguana, not a dinosaur. J is for joint snake. Joint snakes are also called glass snakes. They are able to break off sections of their tails. Joint snakes are not really snakes. They are legless lizards. So kind of like a snake, but not really. K is for knob-tailed gecko. This reptile never blinks because it cannot move its eyelids it licks its eyes to keep them clean. Maybe the knob-tailed gecko could use a pair of windshield wipers. The word knob begins with the silent letter K. So let's find a reptile with a name that actually starts with a K. See how he's licking his eyeball? Because he can't blink, so he needs to make sure it's clean and he uses his tongue. So K is for Komodo dragon. The Komodo dragon is the biggest lizard in the whole world. It is larger and longer than most people. Look it. Maybe this one can be a pretend dinosaur instead of the iguana because it's so big. L is for leatherback turtle. This ocean turtle is the largest of all turtles. It, also, it is also the most widely traveled of all reptiles. The leatherback turtle can be found all over the world in both warm and cold waters. M is for mulch. Some people call this a mountain devil and some people call it a thorny devil. It would be hard to keep as a pet because it eats hundreds and hundreds of ants a day. Look at all its pokies. N is for night snake. Night snakes are nocturnal. This means they do not usually come out during the day. They are ready to come out as soon as night hits. Can you see it? It's winding in the tree. The head is right here. And then it's swiggly. O is for ornate docks, box turtle. Sorry, I don't know where the D came from. Box turtles have a hinged bottom shell that they can completely shut to protect their bodies. The ornate box turtle is prettier than other box turtles. Look at all those colors. He is for pipe snake.
The pipe snake has a neat way to fool other animals. It hides its head under its coiled body and puffs up its tail. The end of his tail looks like his head. So he tricks them. That's his tail, not his head. It's like if you pretended your feet was your head. Q is for queen snake. The queen snake is a water snake that may have gotten its name because it's a picky eater and likes fancy food. It prefers to eat soft shelled crayfish. We're almost there guys, we're on letter R. R is for rattlesnake. These snakes make rattle noises by shaking the end of their tails. We read about this one on Monday a little bit in our other book. You see the rattle back here? Kind of like a baby rattle. S is for skink. Everyone has heard of a skunk, but how many people have heard of a skink? On this page is a blue-tongued skink. It did not get its blue tongue from licking blue lollipops. It was born this way. T is for Tuatara. Tuatara or Latin dinosaurs still roamed the earth. They are different than all other living reptiles, although they look like lizards. So these guys have been around since the dinosaurs. U is for Yurdu, Yur, Yur Utu, Yurutu. Yurutu. I think so. <laughs> Yurutu. This snake has the letter U at the beginning of its name. It has the letter U in the middle of its name and at the end of its name. The design on its skin even looks like the letter U. So it looks like I have a bunch of U's on his skin. That was kind of a tongue twister for me. Couldn't get it out. V is for vine snake. The vine snake is long and thin. It looks like a skinny piece of green rope with a head attached. How can it remember where the end of its tail is or where the end of it is? Look how long. It goes all the way down to here, I think. Yep, this is where his tail ends. Kind of looks like he belongs on the, to the tree branch. W is for whip tail. In some places, almost all of whip tails are female. When picked up, whip tails wiggle their heads from side to side. I think I learned about these in biology when I was in school, since there's so many females in certain places. I do this. K is for Zentusia riv riversiana. And it's for X. What, what kind of name is that? This scientific name is too much, too difficult for young children. People usually call it an island night lizard. That's a whole lot easier. And Y is for yellow headed gecko. Some geckos have suction cups on their feet that allow them to climb steep, smooth walls. This yellow headed gecko is cute, but maybe it would rather be red headed, orange headed, or purple headed. Almost looks like his head doesn't belong to him. And lastly, Z. Z is for zillions. Zillions of years ago, giant reptiles lived on Earth. The giant reptiles were dinosaurs, but that's another story for another day. Okay, that's the end of the book. Did you wanna see it a little bit closer? I see some of you trying to look. The volcanoes. See all the dinosaurs. Because remember I told you on Monday, dinosaurs were reptiles when they were alive. And now Miss Tessa is gonna come back and we're gonna do an interactive. All right, so it's kind of big. I have to carry it to you guys. 
we have a board here and we're gonna be putting pictures from size small to size big. So you guys, uh, we have turtles here and you see each turtle gets a little bigger. So let's count how many there are there. You gonna hold it back here. Yeah, and it's one, two, three, four, five. There's five turtles and they're all different sizes. We have our small one here and our big one here. Can you guys show me your small fingers? Small fingers. And then show me your big fingers. Big. All right, so now we're gonna do our own. You're gonna help me, I did this one, I put in order, but you're gonna help me put one, uh, a sequence in order. We're going to put, can you guys tell me what this is? This is a snake. So we're gonna put this snake in order. So go ahead and take it there. Do we think this snake is small, medium, or big? What are you guys thinking? I see little fingers. I see, show me your big fingers, your medium fingers, or your small fingers. What do we have here? Oh, I see a lot of small fingers. So I'm going to put a right here. And look, it's like this. Oh, let's grab another one. Let me grab this one. How about this one? Can you guys show me with your fingers? Is it the small snake, medium snake, or big snake? Oh, it's the big snake. All right, we'll put it right here for our big snake. Now we'll get our, <laughs> our next one. So this one's a tricky one. What do you guys think this one is? So we'll compare it. It's not the small one. It's not the big one, because it's not the big one right here. What do we think this one is? Oh, the medium, I heard and seen you guys. So we're gonna put this, oh, it does match the medium one, right there. There we go. Now I have another one. We have this one here. So there's only two more spots left. Do you guys think it goes in this spot or this spot? So spot number one or spot number two? Can you guys show me one or two? One or two? Oh, okay, I see a lot of ones and I do think that's right because we're gonna take our last card, our last picture, and we're gonna compare. So that one's right. Oh, it covered it. So we did put it in the right spot. This one covers it. Does this one cover? No, it's smaller. So it's gonna right before the big one. Awesome, so see we have our smallest snake all the way to our biggest snake. Isn't that cool? Okay, we're gonna do one more. I have two though. Actually, I think we're gonna do one more. We're gonna start, let's see. Right here, what do we have here? Do you guys know what picture this is? Ribbit, ribbit. <laughs> it's a frog. And do you think this is the big frog or the little frog? Show me with your fingers, your big frog or your little frog. I see a lot of faces like this. It's the big frog, Miss Tessa. All right, then we're gonna tape it right here with the big snake and the big turtle. And let's get our next card. How about this one here? We can compare it to our others. Do we think it's small like the small snake? No. Do we think it's medium? Let's see if it covers. This will help us. Oh, it covered the snake. So that shows me that it's bigger. Do you guys think it fits this one? Let's see if it's the same size. 
it's the same size. So I think it goes right here. It's not the biggest, but it goes right before. How about this friend here? Is this friend small or big? Can you show me with your fingers? Oh, I see. Ooh, teeny, teeny, teeny little frog. So we're gonna put the teeny little frog where? At the end? No, at the beginning, you're right. We'll just put them over here. Let's put this and get rid of the tape. There you go. Yay, this is a little frog over here. And let's go to our next picture. We have two more spots left. We have this spot and this spot. So right here and here, let's see. Here's our frog. I'm going to compare to the other ones. Do you think he fits with this one? Or do you think he fits with this one? Spot one or spot two? Can I see? Can you see finger? One, one or, or two. two. Oh, I see the number one. Yes, I do think he is spot one. That's the same size square. So that's our second one. Which leaves us one, one more card. And we have how many spots left? We only have one more spot left. So we're gonna put it right here in the middle. He's the medium frog. And there we have an order. We have small and a little bigger, a little bigger, big, and the biggest. <laughs> Good job, my friends. That's all the space I have on my board. But I do wanna show you guys one more picture. I did have a gecko, mm -hmm. but I don't really have space for him. He's kind of big. But look at the gecko, he's so cute. And that is all for my interactive. So, Miss Strita, you want to go ahead and in that for me, and I'll have us all unmute, and we can all talk, and I can show you guys more of the gecko paper pictures. Strita. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, guys. I don't want to mute everyone until we're done recording. And then I'm going to go ahead and unmute.